Sunday service is over, let your weekly service begin. Hey, this week we continued our series, Real Faith in Real Life. We're looking at the book of James and what it looks like to live out our faith in real life. Life. And we finished up chapter one today with the main idea kind of being, hey, we need to actually be doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. I was asking for some, some feedback on, on what the application should be today. And one suggestion I got was to get off your bum and go save an orphan. So maybe that's what you need to do this week is, is get up and go see how you can, can save an orphan because that's what James was talking about. He's talking about one of the ways that we can see a, a pure and undefiled religion or what faith looks like is to care for those in need. And he used orphans as their example in their context. But that really could be anybody. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be an orphan or a widow, although I recommend that you help orphans and widows as you come into contact and as you were able. But this week for the Live It Out, I want to encourage you to identify those around you who are in need. People you see in your daily life, whether it's in your own household, whether it's at work, whether it's your neighborhood, whatever the case may be, where do you see a need and what can you do to address that need? That's a way to, to be a doer of the word. We want to, to show Christ's love. We want to help people who are in need. And so I encourage you, I challenge you, find somebody in need this week and go and help them. Whatever way that looks. It may be very simple or it could be complex, could be expensive, whatever the case. But I encourage you to do that this week with Live It Out. So that's all I've got for you. Go ahead, love God, love others, serve generously, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.